which is dear to me. Having I've worked in this system for a very long time, I really feel passionate about this um, subject matter. Mr. Speaker, first of all, I want to thank the mover of this motion, Moshimiwa Honorable Bernard Kitur Nandi Hills, for articulating this issue very clearly. I want to thank him because it's a national issue and he has come out to really tell the world that we need to talk about this issue. Having said that, Mr. Speaker, I want to also send my condolences to the families and the soldiers who have lost life during this operation. Mr. Speaker, I've been watching on the TV the kind of agony which our people are facing in Lamu. People have been displaced. And yesterday I was watching them being returned to the original places. I'm not even sure whether those places are, are safe now to go back to. But Mr. Speaker, I want to express my sympathy on this particular issue. Mr. Speaker, I am a member of uh, our national administration and internal security. And I want to support my chairman. And Mr. Speaker, if my chairman has spoken on several issues, I really wouldn't like to go through what he has said. But I want to support him that we in the committee are really supporting our security forces. And in the recent uh, budgetary process, we were able to enhance their, their finances. Mr. Speaker, but I want to speak here today as a member of um, Sati constituency. Mr. Speaker, on Saturday, we buried a young man who was working with KDF by name Chastas Kipkorirto, a very young soul. And Mr. Speaker, it was a very sad moment to have lost this young man who left a widow, a very young widow. And Mr. Chairman, I would like, Mr. Speaker, I would like to support whatever my colleagues have said, that we need to look, look at the compensation to these um, lost souls. Mr. Speaker, a lot of issues came out during that um, funeral. One, and which people are asking me, and I want to say this, is about the criteria which the system used to identify officers who are going to this party front. This young man, Mr. Speaker, only joined the service in 19, uh, 2021. And Mr. Speaker, people are expressing their, their doubts whether these people are experienced enough to go and be in the forefront. People are also People are also asking me hard questions. One was about the kind of living conditions in which our officers are living. And uh, Mr. Speaker, we are going to discuss this in our committee. As a member of the committee, I would like to discuss this issue. But Mr. Speaker, I want to um, mention one person who has done a very good job in this government. And this is the CS. Uh, administration and then security, Professor uh, Kindiki Kindue. I'm happy, uh, Mr. Speaker, that he has been able to to stop the one don't destruction of lives in the North Rift, and that we are now reporting um, peaceful uh, areas of um, the, uh, the the Rift Valley, the northern part of our, our country. And I want to thank him for doing this. We also want to, I want to say that um, we in the committee are forgetting also for modernization of, of, of whatever equipment our officers are, work, are using. And Very well, you have had your bite. And uh, I want to encourage the uh, members to be as brief as possible to allow 
all the members have a bite on this. Let me, let's have Honorable Dido Russell. 